Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two triangles ABC and this triangle ABD such that uh, these two line segments AC and BC are the angle bisectors for this angle and this angle as well. And moreover, this angle D is 50 degrees and now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Before we proceed let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and in this video I will share with you two different approaches to solve this problem. And here's our very first method and this method is also called shortcut method. And we will be using this formula to calculate this angle X instantly. And this formula states angle C equals to 90 degrees minus a half time this angle D. And this is our angle C and this is our angle D. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, angle C is X. So I'm going to write down X equal to 90 degrees minus a half times our this angle D is 50 degrees. And if we subtract this one, that is going to give us 65 degrees. So our angle X turns out to be 65 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 65 degrees. And now let me share with you the second method. Now let me go ahead and give a name to these extended lines. This AD this that extends to this point I'm going to call point E. And likewise this other point I am going to call this point F. And here's our very first step. We can see that this angle alpha is the half of this angle EAB. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one. And likewise this angle beta is equal to the half of this whole angle FBA. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as number 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this yellow triangle ADB. And now let's recall exterior angle property. And here's our exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. In our case this angle X is our exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles alpha and beta. No wonder X equals to alpha plus beta. And now in our case over here in this problem this angle EAB is our exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. This one ABD and this angle ADB and likewise this angle FBA is an exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. B A D this angle plus this angle A D B. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 3 and this as equation number 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this green triangle A B C. Now we know that sum of all these three angles in this triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. That means this angle alpha plus this angle beta plus this angle X must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore I wrote down alpha plus beta plus X equal to 180 degrees. And now we know that alpha equals to a half time this angle EAB from this equation 
1 and angle beta equals to a half time this angle FBA from this equation 2. Let me go ahead and replace these alpha and beta by these angles. I'm going to replace this one alpha by 1 over 2 times this angle EAB plus this angle beta by this a half times this angle F B A and then plus X equals to 180 degrees and here in this next step I have factored out this 1 over 2 outside as you can see and now let's focus on this angle EAB from equation 3 angle EAB equals to angle ABD plus angle ADB and likewise this angle FBA from this equation 4 equals to angle BAD plus angle ADB. So I am going to replace these angles by these ones. So let's go ahead and replace those angles. A 1 over 2 is still outside and this angle from equation 3 is going to be angle ABD plus angle ADB and plus likewise this angle I'm going to replace by this one. So this angle is BAD plus this angle ADB and then plus angle X equal to 180 degrees. And now let's focus on these first three angles. They represent uh, these angle ABD, this angle ADB and this angle BAD. And we know that the sum of all these three angle must be equal to 180 80 degrees so therefore I am going to replace these three angles by 180 degrees so therefore once I replace those one 1 over 2 is still outside I wrote down this 180 degrees plus this angle ADB is same as this angle which is 50 degrees so I'm going to write down 50 degrees plus angle x equal to 180 degrees and now in this next step 180 degrees plus 50 degrees turns out to be a 230 degrees and 1 over 2 times 230 degrees is going to give us 115 degrees as you can see and now let's go ahead and subtract 115 degrees from both sides this is gone and so x turns out to be equal to 65 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 65 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye